I am, I, I look like a mess, but what else is new? Welcome to my channel. The Monthly Mash, it was a graveyard smash. So today um, is Saturday and I decided to do some shopping because yesterday was payday and I thought, why keep money in your bank account when you can easily spend it? Um, so I thought I would do a little haul. None of this is interesting whatsoever. Let's start with Michael's. I didn't need to go to Michael's today, but it was part of the strip that I was shopping in. And I thought, hey, I haven't been to Michael's in a while. I wonder what they have. Um, the first thing I got, oh my God, it's broken. <gasps> no. Oh, I could cry. This was like my favorite thing. Isn't that just my luck? This is probably so loud. Have you even heard anything that I've said up until this point? <sighs> okay. This looks terrible now that it's like home, but I swear to you, in the store, I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. Anyways, can you see this? <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Um, it's a little fall floral arrangement sort of thing, and all of their fall florals were 60% off today. Um, I like, because it has like this little pumpkin, again, I don't know if you can actually see, but it has like a little pumpkin, and then it has like, it's not a pine cone, but it's, it almost looks like a beehive, but it's not a beehive. Um, but it's like this piece of wood. This is the thing that fell off, so I, I think it'll be fine. And yeah, I thought about taking it to work to put on my desk, but I think I might just keep it here in my bedroom and um, like put it on my night table or something like that. It's got... It's got, it's in a little copper square vase, I guess, and kind of like these sorts of tones. Um, but yeah, so I really liked that. Um, I ended up going to Ulta because, again, it was right there, and I actually did need a few things from Ulta. Well, not a few. I needed one thing. Um, I needed a new brow pencil. I get the micro brow pencil from NYX and um, Okay, this is where I'm a little bit confused. So one time I got can you see this? Um, I got the Auburn and the brunette because one time I got the Auburn and Then I think another time I got the brunette and I liked the Auburn but then sometimes I felt like my eyebrows were like too orange and then I got the brunette and then sometimes I felt like my eyebrows were too dark so I thought if I just get both because also it was buy one get one half off um, if I just got both of them then I could like mix them and it wouldn't be too red or too dark it would maybe like combine to be like the perfect color for me next thing again in the little tills that are at the front that always like suck you in I got some EOS hand lotion I actually I've always kind of hated hand lotion. I liked the consistency of this hand lotion, so I was like, when I was when I was there today, I saw that they had um, this one, which is cucumber, and then they also had a blue one, which is fresh flowers. Um, but I thought that the cucumber was just a little bit more subtle. I hate hand lotion. I don't really like feel, <laughs> feeling stuff, um, both physically and emotionally. Um, I don't like to feel, so I usually don't like having anything on my hands, but, um, I did, I, I really like the texture. It's not like oily. It just like soaks into your hands very quickly and it's, it's nice. So, cause I always have like dry hands too, cause I never use any sort of like lotion or anything. Um, on to the next thing. I actually have some swatches on my hands. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that is. Um, they had these like huge clearance sections like all throughout Ulta today and I was like all about that life. So I ended up getting three eyeshadows which is very weird for me like um so khaki is this like olive green color you probably can't see that at all um, but it's this really pretty like deep olive green color um, it's a little bit brown 
Um, lock and key is just a standard like kind of gray color. It's a it's a light gray. It's not like gunmetal gray or anything like that. Um, and then sage is like I said, it's a little bit larger of a pan, and um, it is this really like light green and it has a shimmer to it um which i think would be really good on like the center of the eyelid and then using the khaki to like kind of go in the outer corner of the eyelid and then like maybe a little bit in the crease and then with like the browns the warm tone browns that i use a lot like putting that through the crease and then going over it and like darkening up the outer corner of the eye with like that khaki color i thought wow that could be like really really interesting for the fall time so I'm excited to like actually try out a makeup look for once in my life the last thing that I got from Ulta was a new um, NYX soft matte lip cream in the color Amsterdam <laughs> um, let me I'm gonna swatch just a little bit of this like I said I'm really kind of confused about it okay yeah this was not the color that I was thinking it would be. I don't know. This could be fun to play with though. And if nothing else, it looks like it's a pretty like, it might be nice for the holidays. I don't know. Not that I'm going to like any holiday parties or anything like that, but who, you never know. After that, I ended up going to get my nails done and um, you probably can't see that at all, but I just got like a nude color on them. To be totally honest, I'm a little bit upset because I don't think that she painted them very nicely. However, the acrylics, she took a lot of time and paid a lot of attention to detail, which I like really, really appreciate. It's a little bit more pinky than I expected it to be, but I still like it. Like, I think the color is really, really great. And I think it was like Humila Tea from OPI. It's like the infinite shine or something like that. Again, I'm a little bit upset with the actual like th there's so many places that they're messed up on like every single nail but whatever it's okay um a few more things so i got these a couple like weeks ago not today but they're they're new and i haven't like really worn them or used them at all so i thought i would show them to you um i was grocery shopping at walmart and i ran across <laughs> I had to go through, I had to buy, I was buying tights and so I like went through the women's section and where the tights are is also where like the handbags are and stuff like that and I like randomly like looked over and I found this crossbody bag and it's like 10 bucks. Like I saw them, they were $10 and I was like, why not, you know. Um, so I'm really happy with those. And another thing that I got a couple weeks ago um, are these boots. I have been looking for thigh high boots for a really really long time and um, I got these from torrid.com so they sell like amazing like wide leg wide calf wide thigh boots um, these are really really great they're flat now that I like received them though I was kind of like man I should have gotten like heeled boots but um, the they were buy one get one free so these are like a faux leather um, kind of like classic brown colored riding boot that go again above the knee um about uh mid thigh or whatever um and I I like them and then I have I actually left them downstairs but I also bought a pair of flat suede black boots um and I'm really really happy with both of those pairs of shoes they're both over the knee about they come about to my mid thigh they're very cute Again, I kind of wish, now that I have them, I kind of wish I got the black suede in a heeled version rather than a flat version, just because I think that those look really, really cool. Um, I went to PetSmart, and this is where everything gets like super interesting. You guys are going to want to pay a lot of attention to the things that I bought here. Um, so, number one, I have, my, my dog needed food, but yeah i thought that this would be a good switch for him because right now he just eats like the cheap food but um we'll see i guess it'll be good i don't know um i'm not gonna try it for him um the next thing that i got for buddy was these mini bones in 
peanut butter flavor. They also have bacon flavor. These are supposed to be long lasting chews, okay? I have a bunch of treats for him, just like little treats that he really, really liked. But he doesn't have any like long lasting like chews. He doesn't have any bones or like bully sticks or anything like that. So I thought, oh, well these are long lasting chews and they I guess are supposed to be good for you or something like that. So I decided to get them for him and I wanted to see if he liked them. So I gave one to him right when we got home and it's gone. Like. I thought, well, maybe he chewed it and, like, took it somewhere else and, like, put it on the floor or something. But I can't find it anywhere in my apartment. So I'm 100% sure that he ate it in, like, a minute and a half, which is really, really weird. So I don't really know how long-lasting they are, but whatever. These are the mini ones because he's a small dog. So obviously it says they contain peanuts, flaxseed, and honey. So I didn't actually read that beforehand, but... I feel like that's some good ingredients. Those are good ingredients for humans, so why not for dogs? And then one thing I got, they had their Halloween toys and stuff on sale. So I was like, um, yes, please. So I got him this adorable little squeaky candy corn. And I'm so excited. <gasps> he heard it. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that I got was also the most expensive thing. Come here. Um, I got Buddy Groom today. Um, he's adorable. You want to say hi? Say hi to the camera. <laughs> he's not interested at all. Yeah, he was the big purchase of the day. Um, it's expensive getting your dog's hair cut. I haven't even had my hair cut recently, and I desperately need one too. But, yeah. So that's my, like random haul that literally makes no sense whatsoever but I hope you enjoyed it and you probably didn't but I'll say that I hope you enjoyed it um I'm a little bit distracted now so say bye bud say bye bud you are so uninterested you look like a cute little puppy but you're actually an old man and that's why your long scraggly hair looks so much better on you